Hello, I'm Robert Schweiger, Director of Product Marketing Automotive. Last week we talked about sensor fusion platforms and this week I'm going to talk about the sensor concepts and requirements and trends. So this is a sensor fusion platform and um, you need basically for automated driving level 3 up to level 5 sensors like cameras, radars, lidars and ultrasound. So for um, each sensor has its advantages and disadvantages and so if you look at the camera this is the only sensor that can see so you can basically see texture and detect also uh, traffic signs, but it has its challenges um, in pure visibility conditions. The radar, for instance, is very robust at any weather condition during day and night, has a very good range, but it has some disadvantages in terms of the angular resolution and the range resolution. The LiDAR sensor is actually um, the perfect sensor to capture a 3D map of the surrounding of a car in a very accurate way. So it has a superior resolution, but um, the LiDAR sensor, the first ones, were based on mechanical uh, moving parts. And now about 40 companies are designing a fully integrated solid state version of the LiDAR sensor. And um, with these solid LiDAR sensors, the price will come down significantly, which is a key requirement for production usage of LiDAR sensors in a car. So since you do not want to have a mechanical moving thing, a LiDAR sensor on the roof of a car, you need actually four LiDAR sensors at each corner of the car with a 120 degree field of view. So let me go a little bit into the details on the requirements and trends of each sensor. So in order to enable a higher uh, level of automation, um, you need to uh, have a very accurate surrounding um, detected um, for your uh, car. And, and therefore, the resolution for a camera, for instance, will definitely go up. So we will see full HD cameras up to 4K cameras. And so that will significantly uh, increase the data rate from, from let's say, from 1 um, gigabit per second um, up to 24 gigabit per second. On the radar side, there is also a lot of inno innovation going on currently. And um, especially with the uh, 90, 79 gigahertz band, um, people are designing uh, radar systems that provide a much higher resolution. So what we see currently here are basically frequency modulated continuous wave radar systems, but there are also newer concepts uh, currently in design, fast chip sequence radars or even radars that are based on OFDM modulation schemes. And um, because those, the goal is to have actually a higher resolution radar, the data rate will go significantly up. So what we're going to see is for FC MW, 5 gigabits per second up to OFDM-based radar sensors, 120 gigabit per second data rate. So a, a very high data rate, actually. On the LiDAR side, there are two uh, LiDAR concepts, basically, 
Um, in design or, or popular, so one is the flash LiDAR sensor and the other one is the pulsed time of flight LiDAR sensor. And here what we're going to see is a, hundreds of megabits per second in terms of the data rate. So now um, coming back what I uh, talked about last week with a raw sensor data fusion approach, um, these high speed links that you would need for the high resolution um, radar sensor are today not even existing. And therefore it's, um, it's, it has um, an advantage if you have smart sensors doing the sensor pre-processing and uh, just transmitting object level data which is significantly lower in data rate and which uh, will relax the requirements on the high speed links. So next week I'm going to talk about uh, Tensilica and how you can leverage our DSP processors to do a very power efficient high performance um, sensor pre-processing using um, DSPs. Thanks for watching. Thanks.